Hello and welcome to the new Trackify. Here on the welcome screen in Trackify, we will walk you quickly through the three-step setup that is very straightforward and simple to do, and then uh, show you what else you can do and where to go next to get the best and the most out of Trackify. But first, let's look at this uh, top section here, logging in with your Facebook profile. So what does that do? Logging in with your Facebook profile gives you access to the enhanced features of Trackify. It protects your Facebook account, it lets you access your Facebook assets through Trackify and manage everything from here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's log in with Facebook, with my profile here. All right, so here we're back. Now we're logged in, we're still on the welcome page and um, we can now select an ad account the ad account that, that you select here lets you select the pixel, right? So any pixel that is available from the selected ad account is now available here. You can select it and then add the pixel and it will get added. And then this step one will show as green and it's done. And the step two pops open. Step two is what we call lovingly our Trackify Ninja script. And this goes into the checkout settings page and Shopify. So it's very simple to do this. You just click on copy and then click on checkout settings and it'll take you over to your checkout settings. So we're now in settings in the Shopify settings and we've, we're in the checkout section of the settings menu in Shopify. And you simply scroll down here until you see the field that says additional scripts. You click into that and you click control V to paste the script that we just copied and you just hit save. If you have already existing scripts in here, simply just copy this short Trackify script at the beginning of the other scripts that may already be in there and then just click save. Okay, now we can close this. And this is uh, part one of step two. So let's make sure that we remove any other tracking script that may be in your Trackify settings. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to click on this uh, button here to remove the Shopify pixel on this page. And just recently, Shopify has made an update to this particular page here where you used to have just simply a field to paste in a Facebook pixel ID. You now have a complicated setup where you can set up your Facebook pixel. Now, if you haven't done that already, don't worry about it. You don't need to actually do it. If you have done it already, you will see this Facebook icon here on the left side. So if you currently have set up this uh, Facebook integration sh through Shopify, you have to click in here and disable the pixel tracking through Shopify. Otherwise, Trackify and Shopify will conflict with each other and step on each other's toes and it won't work properly. So I'm gonna show you now how to disable the Facebook pixel in the Facebook uh, setup here. And Trackify will simply just take over the functionality of the Facebook Pixel integration that is embedded here. So in order to disable that inside the Facebook settings, you go into Facebook settings and then you click on data sharing settings. And right here, if customer data sharing is enabled, you scroll down and locate the pixel. And if there is one, you click disconnect, confirm it, and then scroll back up and disable customer data sharing. For what it's worth, you might as well just d delete the entire Facebook app and just uh, get rid of it altogether. That would be the case here in the apps page. You click on apps and you can just delete the Facebook app. But if you don't wanna do that, if you want to keep the integration and just disable the pixel, that's fine too. Just go through the steps that I just showed you and you're done here. Now you can close this again and you can click, I've done this over here, and now we're, we're ready for step three. Now step three sets up a default catalog in Facebook, um, and what, the, what that does is it connects your Shopify products with a catalog in Facebook. So that's a very simple thing to do if you are the admin of the business manager that you use to store your catalog. So we're simply going to name the catalog here something and then we're going to select a business manager and inside the business manager here uh, we're going to select a pixel. Now that pixel should be normally the same pixel that you set up in your in step one. And then here in the fourth 
field here, you simply want to think of a general category that you're selling your products under. Okay, so let's say you're selling shirts or, you know, t-shirts or something like that. You just simply type shirts and then you, you get some selections here to choose from. You select shirts and tops. Maybe you're selling coffee mugs. You type in mugs and you select tableware, drinkware mugs. Or maybe you're selling, let's just say, uh, kitchen utilities. And you just simply type kitchen and that gives you a narrowed down selection here where you can select something that works for you okay kitchen and dining home and garden okay maybe this is gen generic enough if you have something really general generic you can also just maybe go for apparel and accessories and that also has a category that is very broad we can just simply select that and it'll it'll be good for you so this this field is not used for google marketing uh, or google ads it's just simply a category that facebook wants you to include uh, in your facebook catalog it wants they want you to have a field there for um, a google category and uh, this is what that does okay now you just simply hit save and build catalog and you're done with all three steps now next there are some really cool uh, getting started frequently asked questions here that will help you uh, overcome certain you know obstacles that people typically run into for example why can't i see my ad accounts if you don't see anything here in the drop down like i showed you just now just click open this question here and you'll see the answer here and follow the instructions there why can't i create a catalog and so forth so these are actually organized by kind of frequency of how we sometimes get them in our uh, in up chat and by the way speaking of in up chat in your window you should see here at the bottom right a green bubble and when you click on that you can open the in app chat and we're here here to help you we help you out with any set of questions or any other questions that you may have so just simply ask your question here now the next thing you want to do is probably head over to the pixel engine page and look around here if you want to add another pixel as a backup you simply go up here and you add another pixel. I'll hand it over to the video that you can access through this Tudor head icon. Uh, almost every page in Trackify has a Tudor head icon here on the right side and there's a specific video for the page that you're on. So here you can learn the next step about how to add more pixels to your uh, Shopify store in Trackify. <music>